Hi everyone, welcome to Fusion 360 tutorials. Today we are going to do the 3D model just by seeing this image. Uh, you can identify this is your top view, this portion is your front view and this is your right side view. In the orthographic projections are given here. Entire top view is clearly given uh, followed by the front view and then the side view. Uh, first to closely read all the dimensions so starting with the circle so let's take anything as a base and then we'll start constructing so i'll take this particular circle as my first base point so from here let's start constructing it. the entire 3d model confusion 360 workspace will be like this initially you have to do a presetting uh, when you expand this document setting you will be asked for unit it is in mm if you want to modify the units you can use the change active units option and here a dialog box will open up uh, in case if you want to change the unit as per the diagram you can always uh, make a change and then uh, you can fix your dimensions you can switch on your origin if you switch on your origin you can see all your uh, planes this is your top view plane uh, just compare with the 3d cube so this is your top view plane right side plane and the front view plane the base is on the top view side i'm going to select my top view and then start constructing so select your top view plane first and then go for create sketch so additionally you have so many tools if you just click create option you can find so many other tools similarly and modify you have some various options like fillet chamfer offset again in constraints you have so many tools or in case if you want these tools to be reflected outside that is in this tool menu bar you can always bring all the tools you have this option just three dots just pick on the three dot select paint to toolbar immediately ellipse will be highlighted in your menu it will be easy for you to pick and place frequent tools whichever you're using you can just make and place it in the front uh, initially i'm going to construct uh, the circle so this uh, outer circle is diameter is given as and then you have one more inner circle so the inner circle you if the dimensions are not given you couldn't find the dimension you just try to project it to your front view anywhere either in front view or in the side view the dimensions will be here so i start projecting my inner circle on my front view here you could find the dimension diameter is 13 and you can also see the cut which is throughout the entire height whereas this cut this inner cut it is of only up to some distance here the inner circle is throughout the entire height the height here it you can find the height in your side so since your height is not given in your print view you can take the height from your side view the entire height is 26 slowly we'll start constructing the other lines first initially we'll make a bigger circle which is of 50 and then uh, followed by the inner circle which is of diameter 30 with the origin i'll start constructing pick a circle select your origin point just drag your mouse without giving any click just drag your mouse and enter the value as 50 so once uh, diameter is entered you can click the enter option in your keyboard uh, just do the game go for uh, diameters pick up the circle so draw one more circle of diameter 13 so i have constructed two circles one is diameter 50 and one is 13 so first step is over then from this circle from this point you have one line which is of 120 140 length it's a horizontal line and one more line which is perpendicular to the horizontal line so it goes until the length of 88 from this point you have arcs this arc we have constructed already we'll start drawing the two lines so one line 140 and other line is 88 for this you can use the line command pick the line command and you have to pick the exact point so in case if this point is not highlighted properly you can always uh, bring the point from the origin without clicking just from the origin you place your mouse just move slowly so that you can find the blue dotted lines when you come here you can find a symbol which shows uh, this is your meeting point just give a click on there and enter the value as 140 and then enter one line is ready now similarly pick a line command exactly from the end point of your line draw one more vertical line of measurement 88 constructed two lines now so in the navigation this is your navigation bar here you can find the 
pan option will help you to move the diagram and place it in your comfortable position this will help you to draw it clearly so now uh, we'll go with the next step so the next step is you have to draw this particular arc so this arc you can go with the dimension radius is given as 180 diameter will be double 180 similarly if you just go here again you have one more circle this is a different arc here and this arc radius is 31.7 so we need to consider two arcs one 180 and other is 31.75 so these two arcs after constructing i have to join it with this particular circle similarly with this line so it may look uh, tricky but it's an easy procedure so go with the circle so since i don't know where to start my circle so you can randomly draw it later you can fix the dimension randomly anywhere on your screen you just give a click and make a bigger circle 180 is your radius so into 2 will be your diameter so instead of multiplying you can just enter the value 180 into 2 so you can use your mouse scroll button to zoom in and zoom out to check you have drawn a circle and when you move the circle it tends to move in all the direction why because we haven't added any constraint so it is free to move so do the process again just pick the circle randomly again on the screen draw one more circle of radius 31.75 cross 2 will be the diameter i have drawn one more circle just move the circle and keep it near to the line why because uh, this line has to be joined with this particular so for this we can use the tangent option so tangent option it's available here so when you want to join uh, two circles together or a circle with a line you can use the tangent tool so pick on the tangent tool select this circle outer circle this. so when you select both the circles what happens uh, the two circles tends to go with the tangent option. similarly i'll do for these two circles just pick on the tangent tool like this and this so now these two circles are tangent to each similarly i need to make tangent of the circle with this line so pick on the circle pick with the line so now you see if you extend the line it means these two or tangent to each other but actually as per diagram it has to attach with a point it has to meet in a point so i can use one more tool which is called as coincident constraint go with the coincident so pick the circle and this particular point so now it doesn't have any gap exactly it means and gets fitted so the rest of the line you can just trim it off using the trim option here you have a trim tool scissor tool using this tool you can trim off the extra line go with the scissor tool you can select this particular line and then the inner line the outline of the sketch is ready with this we can extrude it we will make it a 3d model and the height is given here as 26 once the figure is done you can just uh, still the tool is being selected come of the tool you can always use the escape options once everything is done like you have fixed all the constraints go for finish just to see it in 3d you can use the home option so you can see your top view now clearly in 3d this particular area i'm going to make it as it go for extrude option so in the extrude i have to select the profile and you go back the extrude distance is 26 so you can pull the arrowhead or you can enter the value when once done you can just enter in your keyboard so your outer shape is ready now so we have to make some inner cuts so this part will be a bit easy the inner cuts you have to constrict this particular line with some arc and then you have to make it cut to some extent okay cut if it is not mentioned in your views you can always go with the right side view or the top like front views here if you see the cut is being made till the depth of 20 the entire height is 26 cut is made till 20 and here you could see some small portion this portion is nothing but the rectangle here so this rectangle if you extend it it has been uh, cut up to the distance of 7 so we have to carefully do each and every check one so here if you find you have some four holes and these two four these four holes diameter you have to closely observe what is the diameter given here these four holes diameter will be given somewhere so it is not mentioned here so you can just go with this just project it yeah it is here it is a through hole okay throughout the diagram you have to make the cut so 
two numbers of holes. So yeah, you have two numbers and the diameter is 6.5. Since this is two numbers is 6.5, obviously this two holes also will be 6.5. So this is the case we have to assume the diameter of these two holes as well. So let's make uh, this portion alone and then we'll make a cut up to 20. So we are going to work again on this particular plane. So you can directly select the top surface and then go for create sketch. So you can use the pan option, uh, move your diagram uh, place it exactly at your center also you can zoom in and zoom out let's make the inner cut portion for making the inner cut portion i need to draw this uh, circle again so instead of drawing again i can use a tool called offset directly so both the arcs are similar and the distance between these two arcs is seven you can directly use the tool called offset if you don't find this tool you can you'll find it under the modify option here you can find the offset tool so just click on the offset tool a command box will open up uh, asking you to select the sketches so when you select the entire outer line will be selected and also you will be given arrow heads outer and inner if you just drag it inside outside you can find the uh, tends to move so instead of drawing it again you can always use this offset of the value is 7 i will enter as 7 when i enter it goes outside so in case if i want to make it in uh, you can just add one minus sign before the value so minus 7 just click ok uh, now again i need to make uh, this curve go for the circle so pick on the center line already you have the center point and you very well know the diameter the diameter is 50 click enter so you can see these two connections are made by a small arc and the radius is arc 5 here you can use a direct option called fillet you can pick on the fillet and select this particular line and then the meeting line you can uh, trim off the other rest line so you can use the trim option uh, this particular line it doesn't want it similarly this are also this again these lines are also not necessary so just go see your diagram and wherever the lines are not necessary you can use while using trimming you may get this constraints not a problem so you can come out of the tool by clicking on the tool again or you can use the escape option. now if you see i have a sharp corner here whereas in the diagram there is a blend corner uh, because you have a beautiful arc here of radius 5 for that i can use the tool fillet so if you don't find this tool again everything will be under this modify option uh, go for this fillet tool and select the first line followed by second line when you select these two it will ask for the arc radius radius is given as 5 I'll enter the value. Just click on the enter in your keypad. Very easy procedure. The same uh, fillet we can do it in here as we again have a sharp core. Let's make it blend using the fillet command. So pick on the fillet command, select this line and then the bottom most line. Now it will ask for the radius. You can enter the value as 5 and then use the enter option in the keyboard. Now both the sides have become blank. I need to draw this line which is a vertical line of length 25 mm and then uh, you have to draw one more horizontal line followed by vertical line of length uh, 13 and then again a horizontal line this horizontal lines you can get the distance here you can find the distance between this horizontal line and then this in line there is a distance given like 25 points similarly and this horizontal line with the last line the distance is given us here again you have to draw one more vertical line to the height of 25 mm take back your horizontal line again this horizontal line the distance you can see somewhere the dimension is given here 25.3 from the inline then you take one more height 13 make it to the right side one more horizontal line join it with the corner again you have a curve shape mostly the radius will be 5 take our line command so line command will be easy for us to draw already we have this line we need to create a vertical line so just randomly anywhere on this particular line you start creating the line so the height is 25 so type 25 and then click enter is away from the distance 45 mm from the end go for this dimension sketch time tool so pick on this line with the endmost line just 
bring your mouse to the bottom surface uh, with some distance you give a click and here you can enter the value for your excess pixel and also the y dimension is for this particular line now again you select on the line draw one vertical line the vertical line distance as you know the vertical line distance is not given so randomly draw one line uh, take one more so pick on the line from this point draw one horizontal line the horizontal line distance is not given you can randomly pick one line and then draw one more vertical line and this line distance is 13 so you can enter the value 13 click in line distance we know and this distance we doesn't know so from this line to the end point the distance is 25.5 let's fix the constraint go for sketch dimension tool from this line to the endmost line Take it to the bottom, give a click and enter the value as 25.5. Up to here we have completed. We need to take one horizontal line at a distance of 7. So already we have this line at a distance of 7, the offset line. So you can just pick on the line command, draw one horizontal line and join it with offset line so while picking the offset line you be sure that you are selecting on the line in case if it is not clearly seen you can just zoom in then pick on the so if you want to go back to your full view you can use this under the zoom window option you will find this option called fit so if you pick the fit it automatically uh, go back to the full view of your diagram always whenever if we have zoomed in somewhere and you doesn't you want to go to your home option you can use this which view which view is inside your zoom of so the store is very easy for us to use okay so we have ended up here now we need to create one horizontal line of distance 25 so click on the line command from here take a horizontal line of distance 20 it has ended up here from this point wherever you have entered uh, bring one horizontal line randomly give a click Similarly, take a height of till 13 mm then click in this distance we have to constrain it the distance between this line with the end line is 25.3 make it using this dimension tool pick on this line with the end line take it to the top or the bottom give a click enter the value as 25.3 both the side horizontal distance and vertical distance both are given now from here you get, draw one more horizontal line so that would be the final so pick on your line command from wherever you have ended start from there and then end it with your off that's it come out of the tool use the escape option and now uh, this vertical line is not necessary for us so you can trim it off so while trimming it off you could see this gap so fill up the gap using the line command join the gap so you'd get this and also the rest of the line you can use the scissor tool that is a trim tool this line again it is not necessary and rest of the lines are all linked. half portion is over uh, left out portion is like uh, we need to create this blend surface so for that you can directly use a filler tool so wherever you want to create the blend surface so for example the surface and this line pick on it enter the value radius is 5 similarly so throughout the radius is followed as so you can also check on the diagram whether all the corners are blend yeah, yeah all the corners are blend so directly use the filler tool directly select the corner point enter the file really like the fill in two lines so to go with the filler command like these two lines enter the radius five and then click enter in your keypad last use filter option the two line or you can directly select the corner and fix everything else here it is again sharp use it again check once whether you have constructor without any gap okay there should not be any gap in case if it is there is any gap not be able to make the okay, everything is done uh, go to the finish option and then go to this home option you could see the surface which you have created on the top now simply use the extrude option select the extrude option click on this case whatever you have created just you invert the arrow head so to invert it you need to enter the value in minus give the value as minus how much you want to make the cut for making the cut you need to give the depth to 20 the entire height is 26 so you need to give 
till 20. So enter the dimension as minus 20 and then click enter. So that portion alone will be trimmed. Few more things left out. So we need to make this portion. So for making this it is very easy. So you can select on this particular surface, inner surface. Construct two circles exactly at the center. So one circle, outer circle diameter is 20. And then inner circle diameter here it's not given. So in case if it is not given you can find it by uh, projecting it to your right side plane or the print view plane. You just project the diagram and check here the dimension is given as diameter 10. Outer diameter is 20 and inner diameter is 10. Let's make that portion. So click on the inner surface. Go for create sketch option and draw take a circle. Just draw the circle. We doesn't know where to draw the circle. So later we can fix, the, fix it using the constraint. So just randomly pick one point. Draw the circle. Diameter 20. Uh, let me use the pan option. Place it exactly a little bit center. For it will be easy convenient for me to draw. It's so located at a distance. 25 plus 45 from this end line. Okay. Or from this line. From this particular line. It is located at a distance 25. Again you have to check on the height. Check on the height. You have to check here. You can just follow the lines extension lines you'll get the dimension 63.5 from the horizontal line and 25 from this particular line so let's uh, make the constraints go for the sketch dimension tool from the center point of your circle to this line the distance is 20 similarly center point of circle to the bottom most line the distance is 63.5 both the sides we have fixed it so now we can add up one more circle Go for the circle command, pick your center point and give the diameter as 10. We have constructed two circles. We can extrude this alone. Go to finish tool and use the 3D in case if you couldn't see it in 3D view. You just press this home option and then now click on the extrude. So when you click on the extrude, you have to select this particular portion and then you have to take to the height. Height up to the top surface. So this distance is 20 as we already know. Enter the value as 20 and then use the enter option in your keyboard. 80% of the 3D modeling is done. The only thing we have to make this cut and the four raw slot. This cut portion is up to the depth of, you can just project it up to the depth of 7. You have to make this cut and the dimension of the rectangle is 24 cross 17.5 and where it is located you have to check uh, from this inmost line the distance is 65 in case if it is not clear you can zoom in the dimensions and check from this line the distance is 6.5 let's make this lot i have to select the top surface go for create sketch option use a pan option or you can directly use the fit view tool go for the rectangle select a rectangle just run Randomly draw the rectangle as we doesn't know where to place the point. Randomly draw one rectangle and the length. Length we know it as 24 and height is 17.5. The length is 24. You can use tab option and enter the value the height as 17 sorry 17.5. Use the enter of your rectangle is now created. Let's move and place it in correct position. For that use the sketch dimension tool and the distance from the end point to this is 16 6.5. From here to this the distance is 6.5. Similarly uh, from here from the end line to this distance is 7. So vertical distance is 7. Go for create sketch dimension. So pick up these two distance and enter the value as 7. So now I have fixed both the sides. So go to finish and then uh, you can switch in the 3D mode. Go for extrusion. Select this particular region alone where you want to make the cut. Make it in the downward direction and you can enter the value as minus 7 and then enter. Again I have to make those holes on the top surface. Select on on the top surface go for create sketch option and you can use this fit view tool now draw four circles that first we can construct two circles followed by two let's get the circle diameter circle diameter projecting it to the right side plane so there are two holes which is of diameter 6.5 so each hole diameter is 6.5 and we have to look in for the distance and it is located at a distance 6.5 from the endmost line similarly from this line the distance is 14 okay diameter is 6.5 and from the endmost line it is located at a 
distance 6.5 and from this line it is located a distance 14 it may look bit confusing but go for the circle command draw one circle again a random circle as we doesn't know where to locate it randomly draw one circle of diameter 6.5 go for this constraint tool sketch dimension so from pick the center point of your circle this line enter the distance as 14 1 4 similarly pick on the center line pick the inmost line take it to the top give a click and enter the value as 6.5 the distance between two circle is 12.5 we are, have to make one more circle at a distance 12.5 so for this you can use the easy tool which is called as a rectangular pattern so go for the rectangular pattern you will be asked to enter few data so select the object which you want to pattern it pattern is nothing but multiplying the object. i want to so select your circle so it will be given two arrow heads one along this side and one along this so i want it on the both the sides so whichever arrow head you are selecting that will turn blue which means this side it you can just keep working it so along the horizontal side i need to draw one circle so here it is three you can give it as 2 and then enter the value the distance as 12.5 so now your horizontal side is over similarly along the vertical side just pick on the arrow head so corresponding data will change again on the vertical side arrow is picked now so you can change the value alone uh, i need to have two only two circles and then the distance you have to give the distance. So distance you have to come back to your diagram the circle and the circle distance is 38 since it is in minus i'll also add one minus sign minus 30 so in case if you are using a positive sign it the circles will be created at the bottom okay. so switch over the direction as per it once both the side values are entered check once and then click enter option in your keyboard so now once it is done you can use the finish tool uh, go for the home option go for extrusion and then select the four circles which we have created all right so now we have to pull it to the bottom oh, it is chosen minus sign is through hole okay then you can just project it and check it's a through hole which means you have to take it beyond the diagram so just uh, be sure your arrow head is out of your diagram so that you'll have a through just click enter and here you have a orbit tool just rotate and see wherever through holes are present you can find so wherever there is a through hole you can see it clearly and wherever there is made a small cut so the variations you can see it by using this orbit tool orbit tool is nothing but a rotational tool you can rotate and check your object now you can compare it with the 3d model uh, whichever is given for us so you come out of the orbit tool go for the pan option or use the fit view tool just compare it with your 3d model the one thing you could see here is the inner portion inner portion i could find again a sharp corners along the inside so but in the diagram there is some curve shape uh, mostly as we have given throughout the entire diameter as pi sorry the radius arc as pi this arc also the inner arc also would be phi all the inner curves we need to make it so for that you can use the fillet tool and then select the inner lines everything would have selected just enter the value as phi click ok now if you use the orbit tool and shape so throughout the object you could see the fillet has been applied so once everything is done uh, you can save the file go for control is option or uh, from the menu you can pull the file menu and go for save option. both it work go to the file go for save option uh, enter the name exercise 8 for us so give some name then save once after saving it we can convert to drawing sheet so for that use the file option go for new drawing from design so save the file and then go for new drawing from design will ask you for selecting the format so i use a format i need the units to be near mm and the sheet you have to select a3 sheet click ok ok automatically a new tab will be opened a diagram tab is here and then the sheet tab as soon as as soon as the tab is open you have to place base view so the i have to place my base view just give a click wherever you want to place it and click ok we can start projecting the other view. so go for the projected view give a click on the parent view 
take it exactly to the horizontal sign so this will be your right side view and take it to the bottom give a click so your top view is now ready and then to the side again give one more click so now your isometric view is ready just click enter so this is your front view top view side view and isometric so all the four views are ready now here is your title block in case if you want to edit the data you can just double click and enter all your data so it's, it's all editable you can just click it and then edit all the dates names everything. so you can use the escape option to come out of the title block so now before exporting it to pdf we need to add the dimension uh, go for this dimension tool d so in your diagram you have to click on the lines wherever your dimensions has to be seen so if you click on this arc you can enter the radius and then in case if you want to project this line then whatever dimensions we have added up in the diagram you see they reflected here so always see to that your dimension should not be repeated so in here already i've added 26 you can avoid repeating the dimension so go you can use your control z option go for sketch dimension tool so wherever it, if you would like to add up the dimensions you can add it zoom in so i want to add this particular dimension now go for this fit view the length of the side view is there we added the length of the side see to that uh, do not add too much of dimensions to the diagram in case if you want to move uh, if you feel the diagrams are too close to each other and you want to give some space you can always move your diagram place it so once everything is ready all the title block is ready you can go for export option uh, open pdf and then click ok you can give some name save it the pdf format so in the here you have to select uh, the file location in case if you want to save it in desktop you can go in with this option select your desktop option and, and then click ok so now your pdf will be exported so since while exporting i have given open pdf so automatically when it saves the pdf will be opened and it will show you just check whether it is just check once whether you have entered all the data so this again you can save the file using Control s option also the drawing file will be saved also the drawing file you have to save it so this is your 3d model file and this is your drawing file